Hi guys, a very good evening to all of you. It is evening uh, right now, so obviously it's good evening. I don't know when are you going to watch this uh, video. Well, uh, we have just completed IPMAT exam analysis. In fact, I put together the questions depending uh, based on various students and their uh, feedback. So I was able to come and put across the entire paper uh, at least to understand the difficulty level. Uh, to talk about uh, how many questions were there, what type of questions have come. At least that I was able to do in the short time uh, of the last two, three hours. The exam was, uh, has happened today. This today being uh, 16th of July, the exam happened in the morning. And uh, ever since I've been trying to put the questions together. I hope in the next uh, four or five days, the paper anyway will be officially released by the Institute. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and take a look at what happened in the exam what questions have come and most important to all of you what could be the expected cutoffs before we, before we go ahead a little bit about me my name is Srinivas I am one of the chief mentors and directors of career launch in Bangalore I am an engineer from IIT Dhanbad and an MBA from IIM the training students in the field of maths logic and DI for the last 14 years moving on Right, so let's very quickly take a look at how was the exam or first of all, was it different than what happened in 2009, uh, 2020. So uh, first point to note is it was a computer based test, which means the exam was given in front of a computer. You had to sit in front of a system. The questions will come to you in front of the system. And of course, uh, that's how you're supposed to answer. Uh, the structure change was announced a fortnight before the exam. I'm sure all of you who have given the exam by now already knew that it was supposed to be like this. So it is not a surprise to be very honest. Uh, people knew before getting into the exam, what was the pattern? Uh, the normal, that is normal meaning pre-pandemic, pre-pandemic pan pandemic being up to 2019. Up to 2019, the pattern was 100 questions total. Now, in, uh, in the year 2020 and this year, 2021, the number of questions have been reduced to 60. We will take a breakup of the 60 questions in the next slide. The total duration was 90 minutes. Usual, again, two years in a row, it is 90. So I don't know which one to call usual. Uh, is it the 90 minutes, which is usual now, or the 120 minutes, which is usual now? Uh, earlier, 120 minutes, that is up to 2019, it used to be 120 minutes. So 100 questions, 120 minutes used to be the norm, but because of the pandemic, they have decreased the timing of the exam last year and this year they have given 60 questions in 90 minutes. That's one and a half hour. And we will also see the sectional uh, number of questions and the time limit for each section in the next slide. There is no change in the marking scheme. The marking scheme also I have mentioned in the next slide. A uh, couple of points to keep in mind, the score of IPMAT Indoor is going to be accepted by two other colleges. One is I am Ranchi and the other is Nirma University. You can apply to both the universities using the score of IPMAT Indore and Ranchi's deadline is 31st July. So those of you who are planning on applying to Ranchi, please go ahead and apply to Ranchi before the deadline closes. You can also apply to Nirma University. Applications are available right now. Please go ahead and apply to the colleges if you are interested. Right, moving on, taking a look, a look at the exam pattern. This is the same pattern as last year. So to be very honest, there is no surprise here. Everybody was expecting this. Almost all students I have been telling the students that the moment we came to know that it's a 90 minute exam, I've been telling all the students that it, the pattern will not change. The number of questions, there are there, there were three sections as uh, in the 2020 paper. paper. Uh, the first section happens to be short answer in maths, quantitative aptitude, short answer. Short answer means for those of you who do not know, and obviously not the people who wrote the exam, they already know what it is. But for people who are preparing and still trying to look at what is this exam. Uh, so for those of you, it's short answer means it is uh, no option, but you have to type the answer. That's the kind of a question. Of course, MCQs are your standard uh, multiple choice options, multiple choice questions. The number of questions from each one of the sections, 10 questions, 20 and 30, which is the same 2020 pattern. And the time limit for each section 
was 30 minutes each, totaling 90 minutes. Now, short answers, marking scheme, scheme was plus four. There is no negative marking for getting a wrong answer. There is no negative marking for leaving a question. Whereas the MCQs, obviously, because now you can guess between the four options, they have to make sure that you don't blindly guess. So they give you a negative mark for a wrong answer. Plus four if it is correct, minus one if it is wrong. However, if you leave a question, there is no negative mark. You'll get a zero there. This is a marking scheme. Again, nothing new. It is the same as 2020 pattern. Moving on. Well, the short answer, there were totally 10 questions, as I mentioned. And these are the topics the questions have come. So if you were to break it broadly, averages come under arithmetic. Averages come under the topic of arithmetic. Uh, in fact, time and work come under arithmetic. And you look at arithmetic progression. These, this come under higher math. Uh, coordinate geometry come under higher math. Functions come under higher math. Set theory come under higher math. Uh, set theory, you may choose to or may not choose to call it as higher math, depends. So you're talking about two questions plus one plus one. Four questions guaranteed you can allocate to the higher math area. Two questions coming from arithmetic area. Then you have permutation and common. Actually, set theory, let me call it, a, let me not call it as higher math. Let me put it under uh, modern math. I mean, that's a new name. But uh, I'm combining permutation and combination. Uh, which is, I'm calling it as modern math and set theory, I will call it as modern math. So you can see that there are two questions coming from this area of modern math. And of course, number theory or number system, basically you have two questions. So this is a breakup. Now, the, based on the discussion with the students, I realized that quite a few of the questions and the short answer were actually not difficult. They were easy and doable. Okay. In fact, quite a few of the students that I spoke to said that four to five questions were easily doable. So you just have to be patient, go through all the 10 questions. Uh, do not panic. If you have not have panicked, you would have realized that four to five questions were definitely doable, right? Uh, so the good attempts, what could be the cutoff? I will come back to the, uh, in the, in the later slides. As of now, I would rate this section as easy to moderate section. And uh, it is in, in, in response, uh, in comparison to 2020 paper, it is very, very similar to the 2020 paper. So the expectation of cutoff will also be similar. The expectation of cutoff will also be similar, right? So that's my analysis of short answer. The maths MCQ totally, uh, there were 20 questions as expected. Now, the problem here was the first area called data interpretation. Normally, DI used to be a straightforward calculation based uh, uh, area. Questions used to come with a graph or a table and used to calculate. This time, however, it was not a pure DI in that sense. They mixed it with logical ability. So it was not a pure calculation based. Yes, there is some calculation in, involved, but not the percentages calculation that you are used to finding. What is the percentage increase from that year to this year? That's not what happened this time. They made it uh, logic based DI. So it was, it was a set based on uh, games played or a tournament played between different teams. Typically like those of you who follow Euro league or uh, in football or in cricket. So there'll be wins, you will get two points for, per win. If it's a loss, you'll get uh, a zero. If it is a draw, you'll get a plus one. And they will tell you who won with whom, who lost where. But again, total information will not be given. They will give you parts of information and you're supposed to fill the entire table of how many points are there with how many, which team. So they have, they gave a list of teams. So that was a kind of question that came. This, in many students' opinion, was not an easy set. Normally expected, what I, based on what I was able to collect from students, two to three questions were doable here. And students ended up spending a lot of time in this DI. Uh, similarly, the other questions, even the logarithms question, was not that easy. In fact, this section of MCQ was definitely not an easy section. I would rate it as moderate to difficult. Uh, if you keenly observe, yes, there were five or six questions which are easy, but the problem is 
the questions that came in the starting of the exam were actually difficult apparently so students who had the right state of mind who do not panic in the first few difficult questions those are the guys who picked up or the girls for that matter uh, who picked up the right questions towards the middle of the paper or towards the end of the paper but some of them who actually saw the difficult questions in the beginning they really panicked they did not know what to do they saw first question difficult second question difficult third question difficult and imagine what happens first four questions or five questions you saw were all difficult <clears throat> and then you start panicking uh, well that's exactly what happened and because of the panic students were not able to uh, attempt the easier questions also so if i were to rate it and i which i am rating right now the mcq part of the quantitative aptitude comparison with 2020 was a difficult paper it was not an easy paper like 2020 in fact even 2020 was not that easy but it is still doable here i will rate it one notch higher than the 2020 paper which also means i will be expecting slightly lower cutoff compared to the 2020 levels okay now if you look at the breakup of this the number of questions which have come from higher math this was higher math trigonometry is higher math arithmetic progression is higher math matrices and determinants is higher math <clears throat> and functions is higher math so you have one two three four five six and seven so seven out of 20 questions have come from the uh, higher maths area five from data interpretation which is actually not di it is di plus logic and arithmetic if you look at this is this was arithmetic i will write ath for arithmetic then we have num uh, time and distance arithmetic then we have percentages arithmetic so arithmetic was actually less this time they gave a total of only four out of 20 from arithmetic and if you look at modern math number system again only one question came then if you look at geometry yes two questions have come from geometry uh, one of it was doable one of it was uh, moderate or probably the idea should strike you otherwise you'll not be able to do it uh, but permutation and combination and uh, yeah this was this was your modern math so only one question i believe came from modern math so, the, so one out of 20 from modern math area and uh, five from di so that well that's that's what the paper was uh, quite a few of the questions are scary looking uh, the the easy questions were hidden well that was a, a mantra to this do not lose pen uh, i mean do not get panicked search for the easy questions those those of you who did it would already by now realize that you've done a good job those of you who are looking at it for the next year uh, people who are writing uh, ipm in 2022 who are listening to this analysis keep in mind guys when a tough paper comes make sure that you don't panic because it is difficult for everyone and without panicking calmly search for even those four or five easy questions will be good for you okay let's uh, move on and take a look at what happened in the english area english as a section overall was easy actually uh, in fact there was only one rc of six questions apparently this rc was a bit tricky to understand but the questions were not very difficult so uh, it was a, it was an rc which is moderate of length it was it wasn't very difficult uh, it was an indian express article uh, based on fake news and uh, it was doable definitely and rest of all the questions uh, based on my interaction with the students most of them classified them as easy there were not many difficult questions at all so it is in my opinion this paper is very very similar to the 2020 paper of ip mat indore so the cutoff which i am going to talk about in the next slide is, is going to be very very similar to the 2020 paper so they were fill in the blanks there were five fill in the blanks of three words word usage basically a word which will be given and what is the right or the wrong usage of it that is four or five questions idioms para jumbles para completion uh, sentence correction which is grammar and synonyms so there is uh, not many of these you can say are surprising because these were the questions which have been coming or these are the areas from which the questions were coming in 2019 and 2020 also probably para completion expect getting four to five could have been a surprise because that's quite a number i was expecting three but i, th I think apart from that there is no real surprise in this section 
it is as per the expectation of uh, CL students, at least I can say that for sure, because this is how we have been giving the mocks. The last part <clears throat> is, well, the attempts which were good. Uh, in short answer, when I say good attempts, I'm talking about people who are getting the top 200 ranks or 250 ranks. Uh, seven to eight attempts were doable out of 10, 30 to four doable in the MCQ section and 22 to 25 doable in English, English being the easy one. And a very good score to get beyond the top 250 ranks in general category would be around 44 to 28 marks. And similarly, 48 to 50 and verbal ability 84 to 90. Well, this is a broad idea, but giving a category wise breakup and, and exact sectional breakup uh, for a minimum cutoff. This is, I'm talking about the top ranks, right? But if you look at what is the qualifying bare minimum, this is where I have it. Uh, you can look at the various categories uh, uh, that are that are there as per the exam. Uh, if you look at the general category, I would say that the short answer difficulty is same as 2020. It is actually easy, so I will not change the cutoff. I'm expecting the cutoff to be 20 or probably 21. It will not go beyond that. However, the quant section of MCQ, I would put it a, a couple of marks less than what happened in 2020. 2020, the cutoff, if I remember it correctly, was around 26 marks. Uh, here it was 26, uh, but I have brought it down this year, at least my expectation. I mean, I'm not the one who's going to set the cutoff, but I'm expecting it to be 22 to 24 uh, in this section. Verbal will be very, very similar to what happened in 2020. So my expectation is the same. It was 68 last year. It is going to be 66 to 68 this year. Overall cutoff. Remember, these are sectional cutoff. But for you to get an interview call, my expectation is overall cutoff should be around 124 and above. Uh, about 130 if you get that's a very very safe score in my opinion similarly for various categories i have mentioned the scores that you can expect uh, you add another plus so this is my bare minimum expectation a safe score you can add five marks plus five you can add plus three here you can add plus two here plus two and plus two this would be my safe score so if you add the extra five marks i would call it as a safe score Right, guys. So I hope uh, you guys have a peaceful sleep now. Whatever has happened has happened. Don't do not worry. The most important part right now is some of you uh, will start worrying what happened. You know, you don't even remember what your answers are. You have to wait till the paper is released. Then you might re remember what options you have put in. But guys, all said and done, the exam is already over. In fact, uh, one of my mentors used to say this: if I can cry a bucket of water to change what has happened, I would do it. But since that is not going to help me, focus on what needs to be done next. So the next exam is Rotak, which is tomorrow. All the best to, uh, to all of you who are writing this exam tomorrow. Uh, and other exams are also going to happen very soon. DUJIT is also happening pretty soon. So keep your focus up. Do not worry about what has happened. Make sure that you forget about this exam for, for now. Tomorrow's exam or in the next exams that you're writing, make sure that if the paper is difficult, you do not panic. Search for the easy questions, catch hold of the easy questions. At least that will make sure that your cutoff will be crossed. Right? Thank you guys. This is Srinivas signing off. I will be doing the analysis for the next exam tomorrow. Uh, hope to see you in my live session sometime soon. Thank you. Mm -hmm.